Hello, welcome to Strength Reversed. My name is Amy. Thanks for joining me today. Now, I am in a no-buy year, but I did something bad <laughs> because I just could not resist. Um, in January, one of the prompts for the 31 Days of Tarot was to go and list all of the decks that you're excited about coming out in 2020. And I am not a collector, so I did not... I don't usually keep up on decks that are coming out. I'm always the last to know, and so I find out about decks on people's channels or, you know, after the fact. But in January, I went on Kickstarter and saw this deck, and I knew uh, I had to have it. And that is the Titanic Tarot. Now, this is my son's uh, Lego Titanic that he's he knows everything about the Titanic. So we're going to walk through this together and see how we like this deck. I think we're going to really like it. So it just comes in the plastic. I did not get the the collectible wooden box for it. I just got the deck. And I'm going to take it out of the shrink wrap and then open it. Okay. It has a nice little matte box. And we were just talking about this iceberg. It looks like a skeleton. It looks like a bear. A bear. Titanic tarot cards. I think these are by R.J. Tomlinson. And um, yeah, anyway, we went through a phase where we were about all things Titanic. And my son knows a lot about the Titanic, so I thought these would be really interesting. So here we have the little white book, or the little black book. And I will, ooh, it's in color, but I think that's just for the majors. Okay, and then all of the minors are, I like that it's in color. Okay, take three. <laughs> my son is no longer with me. He went to archery because he lost interest. Um, I had camera issues, and then I realized I had filmed the whole thing um, with the camera vertically instead of horizontally. But it all worked out for the best because I had a chance to read the uh, little book, and I found out some very interesting things. And I read the descriptions of some of the cards and the real people that the cards correspond to. So I'm going to do a walkthrough and I'll tell you who the people are if they correspond to a real person. And also I found out that the, the PIP cards do something really cool. And so I will try to show you that at the end. So the first card is the Fool. This is one of the cards that made me want this deck. I'm gonna zoom in because I just thought it was so cool First of all, I love the clothes of that period. And I like how she's this well-to-do woman. She has total confidence that, of course, this ship is not going to sink. And there's her little, her little dog that is trying to um, get her attention, and she's just not paying any attention. Here's the magician with all of his tools and the past, present, future and the card up his sleeve next to the future card um, represents the fact that the future is changeable. The seer. You can take her warning or not. The empress is Madeline Astor, who is John Jacob Astor's wife. And she was chosen as the empress because she was five months pregnant at the time. The Emperor is Thomas Andrews, who was the architect of the Titanic. He was kind of in charge of the plans to build it. The Hierophant is a Catholic priest named Thomas Biles, who um, saved a lot of third-class passengers, and also it, it kind of looks a little bit frightening, but he refused on more on a couple of times to get into a lifeboat because he decided to stay and help people. Um, the lovers. Now this I thought was so interesting. 
This is Isidore and Ida Strauss, who owned the Macy's department stores, and he refused to get on a lifeboat because there were still women and children on board, and she refused to get on a lifeboat because she did not want to leave him. So they make the perfect lovers. The chariot, the Titanic being pulled by these tugboats. The strength card. So we see a mother kind of staying strong for her child. And if you notice, the book said the, the little stuffed lion, which is a nod to the Pamela Coleman Smith version of the strength card. The wheel, oops, that's the hermit. This is the captain. And he was chosen for the hermit because it was, of course, his last voyage before retirement. And um, he contemplated his career and uh, his past. This one last voyage he was going on, that's sort of a last hurrah and did not end well. The wheel of fortune. This is Robert Hitchens, who was the quartermaster, and he was steering when the Titanic struck the iceberg. Here's the Justice card, which I really liked. It says, it's represented by a blind woman being helped by two children on board the Titanic. One child is wealthy, and the other child is poor. The Hanged Man. So this is someone who jumped off, who finally surrendered. This is death. Kind of death waiting on the iceberg. Even though death is not a physical death, um, it is kind of the end of one reality and the beginning of another. Here's Temperance. This is the devil. The book says, Our devil shows two Titanic workers, a man that shovels coal into the boilers, and a woman servant. These two workers live beyond their means, thus they must work like dogs to survive. Burdened with debt, they become enslaved. And they really were, you know, especially the the men working in the boilers it was a horrible um a horrible job it was dangerous and unpleasant and here's the tower the star the moon, the sun, and the sun um, is a depiction of people who were rescued and they are now on the Carpathia. Here's a judgment. This was another interesting card. It says the judgment card in Titanic Tarot shows a lifeboat of people helping those in the water. When the card is reversed, it shows people in the lifeboat refusing to help those in the water. And then the world. I don't know if I, you can see this black hologram edging, which is lovely, so pretty. The cards are organized with, they came in the box with all of the aces and then all of the twos, all of the threes, etc. And only the queens and kings um, seem to be based on real people. So I'll go through those and you can see. The deck is pretty pippy, but, and very watery, of course, but really pretty. So pentacles are coins. Here are the twos.
threes. I love that octopus. Fours. I love the safe for the four of coins. These are fives. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. There are lots of mer people in the deck. So here are the pages. These would be, I guess, the crew. The knight, we have a musician. Okay, this guy looks like he's giving the finger. He's not, but still I like it, I think it's funny. So the Queen of Wands is Violet Jessup. I'm not sure exactly who she was. I'll have to look her up. And the King of Wands is Benjamin. Oops, sorry, we have all the queens. The Queen of Cups is Delor Dorothy Gibson. Queen of Swords is Elsie Bowerman. And the Queen of Coins is the unsinkable Molly Brown. She was very practical, and she, she, ha, she, was, she trusted in herself. She thought a lot of herself, but not in a conceited way. The King of Wands is Benjamin Guggenheim. The King of Cups is Archibald Gracie IV. He was a writer. The King of Swords is Archibald Butt with an unfortunate name, but what are you going to do? And then we have Jacob Astor the fourth. He was the richest one on the ship, right? As the king of coins. I'm, I'm, these cards are so pretty, but I'm going to show you, and it's going to take my whole kitchen table, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what the pip cards do so let me pause okay i don't know if you can see this but if you put the pip cards um from twos all the way down to tens and then we have coins cups swords wands if you put them in that order you have a very big picture of the titanic all the way down to the bottom of the sea and of course it's going to reflect and about halfway down after number five um they after the fives they start becoming mer people but i don't know if you can see like half of the titanic here and then the other half is over here on the other side and it creates a big tableau. So I thought that was very cool. Um, 
individually I'm a little bit nervous about pippy decks some of the some of the pip cards are a little more you know obvious than others four of swords for example four of coins but some of them some of them are a little less obvious but I'm so looking forward to working with this deck I'm really glad that my video messed up so that I could um I could read the book and figure that out because that's pretty cool. Anyway, okay, thanks guys. Excuse the messy kitchen. See you next time.